Oh, I hate being on the camera. Hi, I'm Alan Levine, and I'm hoping to lead you on some expeditions into some perhaps familiar and unfamiliar uh, web tools out there and show you hopefully some new things you can use. I've been on the web creating web content since 1993 and can still say I've hardly seen it all, much of anything, and anybody who claims an expertise in this is surely lying. So I'm always learning on the web. That's what I love about it. And that's my fascination with it, that there's so much to learn and so many other people who can fill in your own gaps. I'm really honored to be part of this K-12 online conference, although all my work has been in higher education. I do have experience in K-12 education. I have my report card here from uh, Bedford Elementary School in Baltimore, Maryland, where I grew up, um, where I first got my start learning and had many great teachers there. I worked for many years in higher ed at the Maricopa Community Colleges, and this year I joined the New Media Consortium doing some fun, cool new tech projects with them. So this video is just one piece of my presentation for this conference, and I've tried to take a hopefully novel approach, and I've spread and scattered it across many places on the internet. So I will show you in a second how to find some of the other pieces. But in this little section, we're just talking about video, and we're up here on YouTube, a site you may know about or may not, but it's a very easy to use um, hosting place to put your web video. The whole field of being able to record, edit, and publish video content has gotten so much easier and so much less complex than it used to be, um, and that's what makes it kind of fun, and there's some interesting things to use for teachers. So one of the things you always want to do is you don't want to just sit there and just talk into the microphone. So I actually have a script that I'm working from that helped me plan out my process, so a good thing to keep in mind. And then some interesting things about YouTube. I mean, cool site, easy to upload, easy to use, etc. Right up here, you'll be able to see that there's a URL you can copy and paste, so it makes it easy to share this video as a direct link with anybody. There's also a, another piece of code that you can copy and paste into any website, so you can embed the whole video player right there in your own web page. The other thing that works well in YouTube is people tag content, so it's very easy for YouTube to be able to recommend content based upon similar attributes to the video that you're looking at, sometimes with some strange, interesting consequences, depending on the keywords you choose. And then there's comments. People want to be talking about um, being able to respond to what you've posted on YouTube. And if you scroll way down in the comments there, you can not only type in your comments to me, but you can actually record a video comment and attach it to this YouTube video. So I'm really hoping someone out there will be intrepid enough um, to actually try this. But, you know, think deeper. What do you use video for in education? There's a lot more on YouTube than just diaries and kids blowing up soda bottles, right? I hope so. Um, there's storytelling. There's doing reports. There's doing field work. Virtual pen pals. You know, the, you know, your mind should really open up to some of the creative ways you can do it. For this one, I'm doing a very simple technology. I'm using the iSight camera that's built into the top of my MacBook Pro laptop and I'm using my high-tech device here to show it to you and pretty much recording straight in my computer I'll save this and I'll just upload it to YouTube gaffs and ums and all and that will be the way it goes so you know video you know be mindful of identity me I don't care about I'll put my name and uh, identity out there on YouTube but you know working with kids you know encourage them to you know create accounts with pseudonyms you know don't put your face on the camera you know, follow the talking bear. You know, you can just be smart about the way you go about using this and don't just assume that um, it's a necessary safe place to jump into, but it is also not a nasty, nasty place to jump into. So I will be um, putting some other URLs that are related to this presentation that you can help find them. They will appear like right here. I may have to do a little bit of video post-production to get those URLs in there, but that's pretty much it. I'm recording. I'm uploading. That's it. Looking forward to a great time on the K-12 online conference. Should be a blast, and hopefully I'll see you out there on the web. Bye.